Hi, this is Brian David Marshall coming to you from the Tournament Center at Pro Tour Honolulu. I'm here with Brad Nelson, aka FF Freak on Magic Online. He's been tearing up the PEs and block constructed. Came here, he's uh, off to an X and 3 start. X4 now. X4, uh-oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, you, uh, you, you came to this room, now you won a PE with a Sidraxis aggro deck. Yeah, uh, I won two PEs with a total, I do believe, and uh, it worked pretty well. Like the cards, I tried to get as greedy as I could in the format, and it kind of stumbled a little bit, but uh, yeah, like it was tearing up right when the format was new. So, and then how did you change it for this event? Well, I mean, obviously the, the, card, the deck starts around Sidraxis Spectre. Yes. And uh, one thing about the deck online, it did have uh, Broodmate Dragons involved, but in the Jun Mirrors or Blightning Mirrors, uh, Broodmates just seemed awful. So I lowered the curve, making their Blightnings actually worse against me, and I've also cut two Pulse and put them sideboard for the Mirror. I'm really geared towards the Mirror. So you, you were expecting a lot of Jun-based decks at this event? Yeah, a lot of Jun and a lot of 5C. And I feel both are pretty good. Like, game one is pretty bad, but I have a really good sideboard for uh, 5C after that. Okay, so what, what's, your, what's your approach against playing against these different decks? So obviously, in preparing for the Jun matchup, you said, I'm going to just have great Blightnings. Um, you're not as worried about Maelstrom Pulse. No. But uh, how, how do you prepare for the five-color matchup? The five-color matchup is it's pretty hard game one because you do have a lot of dead cards. But so, after so Magma Spray, Terminate, because they just don't have a lot of creatures. And their creatures, they have to kill you with something that you can't kill. And so after Cyborg, I actually just go into an aggro plan and have a removal spell, Flesh, uh, flesh Bag Marauders. And then I also have the Fatties and the Armageddon, and it works pretty well. Um, and in the Jun matchup, I've been bringing in Swerve, and that has just been amazing. Like, I get Blightning, I get 10 Blightnings versus them. It's just wow. unreal. So your, your four Blightnings, your two Swerves? And my Spectres. Right. Yeah. So, talk about the mana base a little bit. I mean, were you not worried about uh, Anathomancer coming into this event? No, I don't think anyone that wanted to bring Anathomancer in, in certain matchups, either they had to be slow enough for that to be a good 3, 4, 5 drop, and... A lot of people that you'd want to bring in your Anthomancers in uh, will have prepared for it. Like the 5C decks, they have been running a lot of basics. And from all the lists I've seen, it just wasn't a problem to deal with. Okay. So let me just, while we're talking about the mana base, a couple of people have nicknamed the deck the Seaside Citadel for <laughs> the one Seaside Citadel in the deck. What, what, what's that doing there? Why one Seaside Citadel? Well, How did you come to that? Uh, in the last two days before coming here, we found that the... Uh, the white was needed to beat the 5C, and it also was another blue source, and fours are just terrible in this deck. So you wanted to have white mana once you went to sideboard because you have the Earl, the Miststalkers, and the Realm Razors. Yes, and also it helped us with our swerves when we boarded. Like, a, we would board in, like, the Seaside Citadel actually came in a lot of times. So you have one in your sideboard also, and basically you were cheating the white and blue into the deck yes. in game one. Yes. Okay. And and then they go up to five, uh, 25 lands against 5C. Just to make sure. And you just, so it's just, this is just good as an extra land. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think about the format so far? How 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 your how has the format played to your expectations based well, on the peas? The uh, I think the Japanese made it the the, the green. white green. Yeah. I right think that's there. an amazing deck. I did not come to see that deck in, in its entirety. I I didn't know this was going to be this good until last week, and I just didn't test enough against the green white deck. And uh, I don't know about my matchup. It doesn't seem too bad. It seems like if I can keep them off Marshall Coup and keep them off their big spells, like Thornlean is a beating. That's yeah. one card I did not see. Like, it, it blew me out. Yeah, do you, do you see uh, Sidraxxus Spectre porting over to Standard at all? Maybe after the rotation? Or? Yeah. Like, I mean, right now there's just too many tokens. And it's just, it's actually like, it's funny because this format is the greediest because there is not the cards that just abuse, like, good creatures. Like, there's tokens everywhere and... And it's just like good creatures aren't in standard, you know, like they have to do something else. Right. And so after rotation, I could really see a lot of these creatures just, I mean, this is made of play, this is made of play, but I could see creatures like this coming out and doing something special. How, how has Mad Rush Cyclops been for you? It's been pretty good. Like there's been a couple draws where I just get him and no, nothing else to come with him. But there's been like today I did do a turn three specter Turn four Mad Rush, turn five Blood Raid into a Spectre and just crashed. And they had no answer to it. That seems pretty exciting. Yeah, it's just, I mean, being able to attack with the three four or the four five, depending if you have a Noble Hark, which is very relevant, uh, your opponent doesn't know what's going to happen next turn. So it's hard to 
make a strategy for the next turn. Right. And taking six damage against this deck that you didn't expect is a lot. Okay. So now you go home, you, you get into some PEs online. What, uh, what deck are you going to play in Block Constructed next week? Oh, I'll be working on this one. This yeah, is... you, so you think this still has... Uh... Oh, yeah. You know, a couple, couple, adjust some knobs and. Oh yeah, they, this definitely can be played. Uh, the database still probably needs a little bit of work, but for sure, I, I will be casting specters in the next couple weeks. Okay, one, one last question, FF Freak. What, what, where does that come from? Uh, it's you know? a username from maybe ten years old uh, from StarCraft, the video game. Uh, I was a big Final Fantasy player, and I've used that ever since. And I've been known throughout different games as FF Freak, and it's just stuck. Cool. All right. Well. There you have it. This is Brian David Marshall with FF Freak <laughs> saying so long from the Tournament Center, Pro Tour Honolulu.